A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a groundbreaking development for the International Olympic Committee IOC, two former Olympic champions are vying for the prestigious role of IOC president. The race, which is set to culminate in March 2025, features a diverse lineup of candidates, including a Middle Eastern prince and the son of a former president, as well as prominent figures from various sports disciplines. This election marks a significant moment in the IOC's history, as it prepares to transition from the leadership of Thomas Bach, who has served since 2013 and is stepping down after reaching the maximum tenure of 12 years. On Monday, the IOC published a list of seven candidates who have submitted their letters of intent to run for the presidency. Among them are Kirsty Coventry, an IOC executive board member from Zimbabwe, and Sebastian Coe, a two-time gold medalist in athletics from the United Kingdom. Notably, Coventry is the only female candidate in a race that has historically been dominated by men, as all previous nine presidents have been male since the organization's inception 130 years ago. The other candidates include Prince Faisal Al Hussein of Jordan, who is also a member of the IOC board, Juan Antonio Samaranch Jr. from Spain, David Laparchant, President of Cycling's Governing Body, Morinari Watanabe, Head of Gymnastics, and Johan Eliash, President of the International Ski and Snowboard Federation. Each of these candidates brings a unique background and perspective to the table, reflecting the evolving landscape of global sports governance. The election will take place during a session in Greece, near the historic site of ancient Olympia, from March 18 to 21, 2025. The new president will oversee critical decisions that will shape the future of the Olympic Games, including the upcoming Summer Games in Los Angeles in 2028 and Brisbane in 2032. Furthermore, the next president will be tasked with selecting a host for the 2036 Olympics, with India and Qatar emerging as potential contenders. The impact of climate change on the global sports calendar and the renewal of the U.S. broadcast deal, which has been a financial cornerstone for the Olympics, are also pressing issues that the new president will need to address. The candidates have until January to finalize their campaigns, which will culminate in a closed-door meeting in Lausanne, Switzerland, where they will present their visions to the IOC membership. The IOC operates as one of the most exclusive organizations in sports, with membership comprising royalty, sports leaders, former athletes, and influential figures from various sectors. The election process is characterized by its discreet and unique nature, with candidates facing strict limitations on public campaigning, including restrictions on publishing videos and engaging in public debates. Sebastian Coe, widely regarded as one of the frontrunners, has an extensive background in athletics and sports administration. As a two-time Olympic champion in the 1500 meters, Coe transitioned into politics and sports governance, serving as a member of the British Parliament in the 1990s and later leading the successful bid for the 2012 London Olympics. He has served as president of World Athletics for nine years, a role that has further solidified his reputation in the sports community. Despite his qualifications, Coe faces potential legal hurdles due to the IOC's age limit of 70 for members. He will be 68 on election day, and while there is a provision for a special exemption, it raises questions about the length of his potential presidency. Kirsty Coventry, who turned 41 on the day the candidates were announced, is also a strong contender. A seven-time Olympic swimming medalist, she has experience in government as Zimbabwe's appointed sports minister. Her candidacy represents a historic opportunity to break the gender barrier within the IOC, as she aims to become the first woman and African to lead the organization. Coventry's campaign focuses on addressing the needs of athletes and promoting inclusivity within the Olympic movement, making her a compelling candidate in this election. Juan Antonio Samaranch Jr., son of the former IOC president who served for 21 years, brings a legacy of experience to his candidacy. Having joined the IOC in 2001, Samaranch Jr. has held various leadership positions, including serving as one of the four IOC vice presidents. His familiarity with the inner workings of the IOC may provide him with a strategic advantage in the election. David Laparchant, who also serves as the president of France's national Olympic body, is riding the momentum from the upcoming Paris Summer Games. His leadership in securing the 2030 Winter Games for the French Alps showcases his capability in managing large-scale sporting events. Laparchant's experience in navigating the complexities of international sports governance positions him as a formidable candidate. 
Morinari Watanabe, the president of gymnastics, and Johan Eliash, head of the International Ski and Snowboard Federation, round out the list of candidates. Both have made significant contributions to their respective sports and bring valuable insights into the governance of the Olympic movement. As the election approaches, the candidates will be expected to publish manifestos outlining their visions for the future of the IOC. The closed-door meeting in January will serve as a critical platform for candidates to engage with IOC members and articulate their plans for the organization. The outcome of this election will not only determine the next president, but also set the tone for the IOC's direction in the coming years. In conclusion, the race for the IOC presidency is shaping up to be one of the most significant elections in the organization's history. With a diverse array of candidates, including the first female contender, the election presents an opportunity for the IOC to embrace change and adapt to the evolving landscape of global sports. As the candidates prepare for the upcoming election, the sports world watches closely, eager to see who will take the helm of this influential organization and guide it into a new era. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.